in this lecture let us discuss about iterative deepening depth first search we already know what is meant by dfs so dfs searches a network or tree by traveling as far as possible along each branch before turning around so dfs has a drawback what is the drawback if a graph contains cycles then it could be trapped in an endless loop so if you use this iterative deepening search or uh, uh, also called iterative deepening depth first search then we can solve this issue so this search algorithm combines benefits of both dfs and bfs so here the graph is explored using bfs but the depth limit steadily increased until the target is reached and also uh, the, we simply we can say that this uh, iterative deepening depth for search it continually runs dfs raising the depth limit each time so this process repeated until desired result or the goal is obtained so why we need this iterative deepening depth for search means uh, so here uh, uh, we have advantages as well as disadvantages also uh, we can say that uh, the benefit is this iterative deepening depth for search is you uh, is uh, efficient memory efficient because it decreases the algorithm's memory needs by not storing every node in the search area in memory the disadvantage is visiting certain nodes more than once so if the algorithm visit more than once then obviously it might slow down the search process and the benefits of completeness and optimality frequently exceed this disadvantage let us solve this problem so here, just like how we considered before in uh, depth limited search, let us take this node as a start node and write down levels. This is level 0. Level 1. Level 2. And this is the last level, level 3. Okay. So, here the process is first it will start with level 0. So, first in iteration 0 or uh, we can say in iteration 1. depth is taken as 0 so only traversing takes place only till level 0 so how many nodes are visited here there is only one node right so only one is visited but our goal node is 7 assume that goal node is 7 so now we need to repeat the process so you need to increment uh, you need to perform more number of iterations so let us take iteration 2 where we incremented the depth by 1 so now depth is 0 plus 1 that is 1 so here traversing takes place till this level 1 and the nodes which are visited are obviously so 1 is already visited now 2 and 3 This is the path. So, check whether the goal node is reached. No, right? So, again, increment depth by 1. So, in iteration 3, increment depth by 1, 1 plus 1, that is 2. Now, So here now uh, the traversal takes place till takes place till level two. So you may, we are applying the same depth for search process, right? So you can write the output. So that is one, two. So traverse through the left side left side first. One, two, four. 
5 backtrack and move to right side 3 6 and 7 so this is our goal node so as we reach the goal node we can say that the search is successful and here no need to increment the depth again because we already reached the goal node. Say suppose if the goal node is at level 3, say, say if it is 9, then again we need to increment depth by 1 and you need to implement this iteration 4.